capital clash of heavyweight contenders at Boreham Wood as inform Arsenal hosted table toppers Chelsea. All the ingredients were there for a cracker and it didn't disappoint. The first half hour saw four goals, the first on ten minutes, when Dan Carter raced through to put Arsenal in front. The Gunners' unprecedented four-game losing streak back in May is long forgotten now. They'd won eight of their ten previous outings since, coming into this one, and soon they were given a great chance to double their lead here. Laura Bassett fouling the goalscorer Carter, but Casey Stoney had one to forget there. And what a big miss it was in every sense. Chelsea then hit back with a quick-fire double that turned the game on its head. The first came from the penalty spot, but not before this flurry of activity. Burns saved from G, then Scott blocked the first effort from Agimi, but handled the second. A penalty to Chelsea now. Yuki Agimi, unlike Casey Stoney, made no mistake under pressure. 1-1. And just three minutes later, it got better still for the guests. Anna Borges in acres of space. Likewise, Jackie Gronin in the middle. She didn't get hold of a shot, but nor did Emma Byrne. A soft goal all round, and the league leaders were now in front. But not for long. Arsenal's Leah Williamson levelled it all up again on the half-hour mark with the goal of the game. A perfect lob over Marie Hurrihan to make it two each, her first league goal of the season. And she very nearly had another soon after. A typically neat and tidy gunner's move ended with her bearing down on goal from the angle. The curling effort just the wrong side of the post. Perhaps a game of this magnitude was destined to have a dramatic ending. It got one in the 89th minute. Emma Burns' poor clearance seized upon by Hannah Blundell and punished to the maximum by Ji So Yun. On a night when Birmingham also won, this was a huge three points for Chelsea, who stay top, three clear, but having played a game more than the Midlanders.